Hello, welcome to another angling vlog. Uh, back out on the river today. Um, it's Sunday. Whether or not I'll put this video up this Friday, I don't know, because I've got a week off work. So um, it might be a case of putting this video up in a week or two's time just to break the content up a bit. Um, it, it is, you know, there's been two river videos the last two weeks and. It might just be a bit different if we go this week. I mean, I think we're going to commercial one day and piking, you know, a few days. And then the rest, you know, I've got two days later on there on the weekend to do any other type of fishing. So I'm hoping to get some content built up, you know, that I can use over the weeks. Right. Um, so, that, yeah, that's where we're at the moment. Hopefully today, most of the rivers are in flood. The one river that we could go, the River D, is shocker you know it's just ba it, it be balmy people there at four in the morning to get a peg and i just can't on a sunday morning i just want a few hours fishing so today it's going to be the stick float and the whip and i think today i'll be a little bit light on the the tactic side of things i think today i'm just gonna have a day's fishing and enjoy it okay just gonna pick my uncle up now and then we'll be on our way i'll catch you later Right, just got on the venue now. Should be the swim for the day. I said there's not much flow on it. Um, I'm gonna start off here with the whip. I'm gonna set my sticky up on on the tree down there. Um, I was thinking about putting a little bit of cast down there, maggot and ground bait underneath my feet, and save money. The ground bait from the other week been freezed up and brought again. So that's a plan of attack. Right, just a quick run over my stick float rig. It's a, f a four, number four sticky, two pound, it's my normal four pound um, reel line, and it's down to a size 20 hook on a two pound hook length. Always use Dinsmore weights. Number fours and number eights to shut the float down. So that's a start for today. Right, plan of attack for today is going to be feed nuggets of ground bait, maggot, and castor, a hemp and castor. Now, the ground bait is going to be on the whip here. I've got a good end point. The end of me keeping it, I don't really want to be going past that, so I want to be getting the fish here, and I'm going to be drip feeding casters right down the swim for the first hour just every just two or three every five or ten minutes and that's going to be hopefully where i'm going to just go for big fish um if i start getting them under here on the whip obviously i won't bother with that but i'm just going to chuck the odd caster down there now anyone that's going to watch my videos all year you'll see on the canal that's basically a tactic that i use on the canal as well on the far bank so i'm going to get to it today's video i'm hoping to be a bit shorter than normal i'm going to try and get it under the 10 minute mark because you know 15 20 minute videos are not really suitable i don't think i think we try and get it under 10 minutes today so it's not going to be as much um talking about the tactics you've seen on other videos it's the whip and the stick float and my tactics for today okay and catch you later So like I said, in last week's video, whip fishing is all about getting a rhythm. So in, feed maggots, that's where the fish are already there, a little nugget of ground bait, and that'll go down the river. I'm hoping to catch the fish before it gets to me keep net. Round about the end of me keep net. There's a knock. That's a fish. And I said, you keep getting in that rhythm. Now, this is only the second one for him. Feed, and the whole idea is to keep the fish in front of you. Hold back. There 
it go. Oh, but there's the fish. Well, if they stay there all day, we'll have a very good net at the end of it. So, say if we keep getting bites here all day, then I might not need to go down on the crash the ladder. We'll check it, of course, because I've set it up. Hold back, let it go. Hold back. So it's a bit of a tough one today. When I go down the swim on the sticky on cast there, I'm getting them type of fish, but they're not coming as quick. I'm still putting maggot in just under my feet, but as I say, they're not coming as quick as I could catch the small ones under my feet, but they're a much better fish when I get them. So it's a tough one today. Do you go for the better fish on caster and not as quick, or do you catch the small ones really quick on the the whip? Like I say, I'm sticking on the sticky so far, because there could be something special on the caster line, I think, today. Just got a feeling. And there we are, back on the whip. Because they've had a chance to settle and get confident, and kept feeding it straight away back into fish again so I think alternating between the two is going to be the way right so we're well into the afternoon now um, what's happened if you can see down there all the colours gone completely I couldn't see the bottom there before this morning so what I've done obviously trying to get the colour back in the river mix the ground bait so it's really sloppy and trying to impart my own colour onto the river it's a, it's a weird one to slap because it's quite easy to kill it but I like to kill the swim but definitely putting it in has kept the bites coming because it did die well I couldn't get a bite but putting that slap in is just keeping that bit of colour in the swim Keeping the fish up in the water there for me. Okay, I'm going to get back to it. Now, as you can see there, that's what I'm talking about. On the right, which is the ground bait before, on the left is the slap that I'm feeding now. Ain't the cleanest of ways of fishing, but definitely works. Fish coming steady now on the whip. I see the stamp of fish has certainly increased. Should have. Well, at least a half decent net at the end of it, I reckon. It's been coming like this quite steady now. It's the final net of fish. £11. And so you can see the ones that have come on the caster line. Slightly better fish. Right, I'm going to get them back now.